Oh no, what's going on over here? Oh no, they're being attacked. Why are they being attacked? They're being attacked by rats. Those are really some rodents of unusual size, aren't they? What about the R.O.U.S.'s? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Hello, my internet friends, and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. So, last time we started up a new colony, we got some research from our little adventurers that were going out in the world, fought some ruffians, and uh, generally we've been, just been having a good time. So, let's continue on. And, uh, yeah, let's go for it. So, they are still collecting wood. I think I, I noticed in between videos that they have these things here. I think I have to move my work uh, station over here to collect up those supplies that those initial survivors, or those initial, like, refugees we took in uh, brought to us. So, I gotta remember to do... You know what? Let's actually just move that real quick right now. Yeah, let's just do that right now, and I think that means that they're gonna come and pick these things up. I think is what that means. I don't know. We're gonna see if, if indeed that is what happens. We're also trying to build a medical station, but we are waiting on just one more wood and a few more things of plastic, which they are... Uh, that should be the last wood that got produced right there. Plastic, uh, we are producing as we can. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I don't actually see them picking these things up, so I don't know, hmm, don't know if that's actually doing what I want. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I just thought about this. I bet it's because the stockpile only carries raw resources. It probably does not hold, uh, it does not hold, whoops, that's not what I wanted. It does not hold completed goods, such as the warehouse. Stores refined resources and valuable items such as jewels, clothing. Yep, yep, yep. So we gotta build one of these to be able to, yeah, hold that stuff. So let us go ahead and I don't know, let's just place one of those here. We're probably gonna tear a lot of this down and remake it eventually anyways. Okay, let's go back to our explorers. You are gonna go and pick up these cinder blocks. And let's see, 49 uh, concrete stuff, that's awesome. You, I would like for you to go get some more research. Okay, so we have 300 research, and I believe that becomes available immediately for use. Yeah, it does. She doesn't have to bring that back. So, what do we want to research? Um, what what way do we want to go down here? I feel like if I click on this. Okay, so actually, okay, so it tells me what it what it unlocks. Whoops. So we can go with big game hunting, which is gonna give us one extra worker slot in the trapper um, building. We can also do this as well. I don't know why you would do. These both give plus one worker slots. Oh, so I guess basically you would eventually just get plus three worker slots. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not one or the other. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking that. We could also go with here. Okay, so we could we could go with skinning where the uh, trapper produces a fiber as well, um, or we could just go with the, with basic farming and a small field. Uh, larders that leads up to. Cookhouses, logging camps, uh, advanced farming, which gives us the bigger fields, better sites, uh, and, oh yeah, okay. Cool, 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 Okay, ooh, bakery, yes. Mills and bakeries, oh, I'd love to do, I love, I love production chains, and I especially love production, like, food production chains in colony games where you have to like grow the wheat, 
and then build the mills to grind the wheat down into flour, and then you have to have the baker come in. And yeah, I, I love I love all that. I love that stuff. Okay, so we can go the food route, but is that what we need to focus on right now? We Or we could go with... Okay. Scrapper giving plus an extra plus one metal could be pretty huge. Hmm. Hmm. Or we could go straight up for power. Just just go right into getting power. Which is a thing. Huh. I don't know if we have that big of a use for power right now. Huh. And then we have the colony stuff. Medical tent, extra slots, or extra durability. durability. Waterproof seams. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of a big... I kind of like the idea of making of, of building up the colony with better housing um, first uh, being able to build up a shanty and take three people we can, then we can get schools and they'll uh, those uh, educated people will be able to work better I I'm kind of a yeah I am a fan of that I am a fan of that we gotta get those sweet, sweet cabinets. Oh, cabinets as in an arcade cabinet. Okay. <laughs> not as in not as in kitchen cabinets, but as but as in arcade cabinets. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense on why that is top tier, not <laughs> Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently they still have a bit of work to do on this one. Um, Frontier Outposts. Uh, expanding the colony's influence past its borders is essential for the colony's survival. To drop off their scavenged resources without traveling back to the colony after dropping the resources off at the outpost, they are automatically transferred to the colony. One outpost depot can, su can support a single out- What? One outpost depot can support a single outpost? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Don't know what it means, but we can't build it anyways because we don't have those little um, sparky plug thingies. So I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but... Interesting. Okay, so we can get cars in this now. That's, a, that's definitely a new thing that we weren't able to do before. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I like the idea of more exploration. I definitely like the idea of these frontier outposts, but I don't think that we need to go for that right now. I think that we need to focus more on... Let's focus more on... We're going to skip the heavy tarps and all of that. We're, I think we're going to go with nurses and then go into communal living to give us uh, some better houses. Yeah, possibly go... Now, okay, so do the indoor toilets only give you plus 20 uh, happiness for the shanty? Because if I go up to... Well, okay, so I guess you don't get another, t it's just shanty. You don't have a house in between. It looks like it's just I'm not looking. I'm not seeing anything else that is looking like a house. Uh, saunas. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it looks like it's. Uh, you will eventually get up to a house at the end. Uh. So yeah, I think we go straight for shanties. Um, 
yeah, I think that's the way we. I think that's the way that we go. Let's get us some. Uh, let's get us some nurses. We're gonna research nurses. We're gonna research. Oh, we do have to do both, don't we? I see. So we do have to go with the heavy tarps, even though I'm not gonna be doing anything with them, which is a little sad. Oh, apparently you can also only research one thing at a time. So we got to wait the 15 hours before we can research. Okay. So that locks us into that. That's good to know. Okay. So let's go. Um, insufficient materials for the warehouse. Uh, we lack wood. Okay. Well, I mean, there's only so much we can do about that. We are gathering wood at uh, as fast a rate as possible. We should actually have enough wood fairly quickly. I'm not too too worried about that um and then once that warehouse is built up we can deposit oh the plank deposit got deleted okay so we s okay we still have one more plank deposit but then after that what are we gonna we gotta focus somewhere focus our efforts somewhere i guess maybe we have them walk through this i'm worried about them traversing the nuclear waste uh I, I I'm pretty sure the nuclear waste hurts your people if they walk through it too much. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Okay. I don't know if you can see the button that I clicked because I have um, my camera over top of it, but apparently societies is a thing that's going to come into this game later on. Uh, I guess we'll maybe discover that eventually. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so we got our people who are ready to move again. I would like for you to go collect up a bit more research. And I think that's... Is that it for the research, or is there still more there? It says that there's more there, but I can't... Oh, there's 29 research left there. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to have to waste a full day. I'm going to have to waste a full day on, on that. Okay. Well, okay, so she's discovered some metal sheeting over there. We can collect that up in a bit next to... When, when uh, she's rested and, and feeling a bit more uh, up to it. I guess let's build more roads. Do the so if I if I if I build a road right right next to this, does this oh okay, it does combine into a larger road. Okay, cool, yeah. Build a larger road. We have a nice double wide uh hey, research complete. Okay, so let's go. Now we can go into... Okay, so, yes. Okay, so you only do need to go the one route. You don't have to go the other route. That's... Okay. So this will get us communal living. We'll research this up. Uh, and in 15 hours, we'll be able to build actual houses. We'll be, we'll be able to build... <laughs> we'll be able to make an apocalyptic tra trailer park for our people, which will, um, I am sure, in no way uh, draw... <laughs> Draw the ire of the gods and, and and make them send natural disasters to the trailer park. Because trailer parks are always notoriously safe from all natural disasters, as we all know. Okay. So things are going good, I think. Oh, I did build that next to some nuclear waste. I didn't see that there before. Hmm. So... I can move actually this is this is this is a good point. I should move the work area of this just a little bit. Um and I guess maybe move uh you know what? No, I like the work area being where that is. I like that. Okay, so they are ready to move again. I am gonna waste a full day on you. Just researching twenty nine research, it's fine. Cool. It's for the good of the colony. Uh, yeah, you can go collect up that scrap. <clears throat> All right, 60, 60 metal. She's going to bring back a ton of stuff for the colony. It's going to be great. 
They do so many cool things. She's also a beast for being able to carry that much stuff on her back, I gotta say. Like, seriously. Good, good job. Good, good job. Okay, so... I guess we are also gonna need to make... It definitely seems like that trapper is going to be a um, good thing for us. So let's make up... I guess, yeah, let's... Yeah, I guess let's just throw down this trapper here. Um, and they'll be able to... Do, do, do. Oh yeah, this was a food outpost place thing. Can I get both? I can get both there. Okay. I'm going to harvest up those berries. That'll be good. Because we are running out of our fresh berries. Hey, what? Ooh, excuse me. Innocence lost. A small girl approaches you with watery eyes and snot running from her nose. I can't find my cat. Please. She must have ran away. I can't sleep without her. She keeps me safe. The girl begs, her voice cracking. You could send someone to comb the nearby woods, but is it really worth it? Oh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, I can't, I can't resist that face. Look at that face. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay. Uh, a few colonists venture out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but you know that success is uncertain. However, the party soon returns with a massive white cat who, judging by the scars on the rescuer's arms, wasn't too keen with the strangers. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers! The girl squeezed, em squeezed, embracing the cat who immediately begins to purr. So we got two happiness, but we injured two colonists. Um, which is okay. We have a medical station, you know, which just happens to be able to hold two people. So yeah, all is good. Uh, we should be able to, um, yeah, all these the people are unhappy. Why are the people unhappy? Okay. Cause they rested poorly and they're dirty. So there's a lot of dirty people. So how do we fix dirtiness? Uh, there was the outhouse, but does that get away dirtiness? Hmm. It doesn't say that it does. It doesn't say what gets rid of dirtiness. But we do have shanties now, so we will want to research those. Okay, so that place has some cloth. That's cool. And then you are going to explore that. Hey, more research! Awesome! Hey, hey! That is fantastic. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, let's go back. Uh, that research is done. We still have a bit more research we can spend, so let's see. Uh, we can go with roof supports, which is going to help. Um, yeah, okay, so that... Okay, so... <clears throat> interior walls is going to make plus 20 happiness, and sweet porcelain is going to make plus 20 happiness, roof supports is going to improve the durability. I think right now we are kind of in a place where we need happiness for our people. Uh, but I also really want to get schools going because, yeah, because schools. Schools are really great. I'm going to go with schools. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with schools. Yeah, educated ma educated masses are are so much better. So we we don't have that many people left. Um, okay, so so let me try to plan this out right. Okay, so I've laid down some shanties here for people. Uh, once this uh, once we get this set up. Uh, we're gonna move some stuff around, delete out these tents, and I think kind of, uh, we're gonna rearrange some stuff, I think. I definitely think we're gonna rearrange some stuff. Um, I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I think that's one, two, three. Yeah, it's kind of a weird, I guess it's like a three block entrance.
Yeah, so if I put a third road, I guess that would be symmetrical, right? That's symmetrical. I mean, it kind of doesn't look it, but yeah, I guess that's, I guess that is a main road, right? Okay. Um, okay. So these guys are ready. Go explore that. What do you get? A uh, good amount of uh, plastic. And then you can go ahead and raid out that research. Cool. All right. And then you are going to head back to base because um, you have got a lot of stuff on you that's really going to help this colony out. Unfortunately, what she doesn't have is wood, which our colony desperately needs right now. They need wood. Um, yeah, they really, really need the wood. Uh, huh. Oh, uh-oh. Heat wave. Intense and oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. Colonists struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Plants wither and crack soil. Colonists drink double the normal amount. Crop yields on open fields suffer. Build and fill water towers while stockpiling food to survive. Oh, okay. So this is going to be our first little natural disaster-y thing here. Um, okay. So let's see. We have days before catastrophe strikes one. Great. Okay. So production and consumption. So I don't know if we can just build another well and that will make it okay. I guess let's just try building another well and make this a high priority. Food, there's nothing that we can do about. Um, we're just gonna have to hope that it works. We're just gonna hope that we have enough, I guess. Uh, they finished researching schools, so that's great. Uh, and then, oh, hazmat engineering. Yes, because then we'll be able to get rid of the nuclear waste. Cleaning heavily polluted soil without Proper equipment is a death sentence. An environmental station provides me to clear pollution, uh, pollution deposits and store the waste in a nuclear waste storage. <coughs> so I like the idea of this being able to do this, but it takes 12 power to be able to run this. And I actually didn't check this before. Okay, schools do not require power. But uh, I don't think it's a good idea to, re to waste the research on this when I can't even get power to begin with. So I think we either start looking down the battery, or the battery, the, uh, the power option, or uh, actually we should research crowbars just because this is gonna be great to getting uh, stuff faster uh but where is something for wood production is there anything for wood production because we could really use that and i don't see anything for it hmm hmm <laughs> hmm yeah, I would like to do I would like to do more food stuff, but I feel like the production is what we need to do right now. Let's go. Let's go with that. We'll go with crowbars. And I'm just going to have to hope that we can survive this heat wave cuz I was not really prepared for this. I didn't think that we were going to get hit with this this quickly. Hmm. And that person's hungry. Oh, well, we did. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like they are taking that stuff now, so that's good. Uh, yeah. A group of survivors are at the gate. Okay. 
they bring corn and two little power things and some stuff. Uh, and another guy. Uh, yeah. He seems good, and I could use the people. Yeah. Oh, but we have an infected person. All right, well, she's going to go right to the medical tent. Unfortunately, she's going to use one of our medicines, uh, which we do not have more of. I uh, have not discovered more of, which could be a problem. Okay, so she's going to go back to the colony. Uh, and it looks like she did get there in one turn. Yeah, she did. So she is she has dropped off all of her stuff here at the gate, as you can see. Um, people should go and pick this stuff up, uh, and we should be able to get. Uh, we should be able to prepare more. I hope. So I guess we go. I guess I guess we just go straight into uh, inventory, and then we can go into power production. Yeah. Hmm. Is there another person in here? No. Lyra. Lyra's in there. Cub. I'm gonna send you back out to the world map just to just to get you going. Oh yeah, I should I should I should send you out to the world map as well. A. And then we can do... Cub, you're going to come back. What was over here? <clears throat> a good amount of tools. That's going to be a minor victory if we go attack that. Let's go explore here. Since we have the ability to get there in a turn. Oh. Oh. Or maybe we do not. I thought we did. My mistake. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, apparently there's more metal here that I did not collect up in one in one go. That is my bad. Okay. We'll send you up this way, I guess. Yeah, we can send you up that way. Now let's head back into town. Now we are still waiting on this heat wave. Supposedly going to strike any day now. I'm hoping that they are putting wood into not the houses. Low priorities. Low priorities. Oh, just pause. Yeah, just pause construction on these. Please, pause. Pause. Put everything you have into building this well, please. Any, any wood you get, put it into this. If, if there is wood, put it into that. Gather up more of that. You're ready to go again. Explore that for me, please. Okay, tools there. Cool. Uh, and then you're going to look over here for me and see what you can see. Okay, we've got some cloth. Not bad. Not bad. Head back over here. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. My bad. Um... Layla is uh, infected for quite a while. She is not getting over that that uh, that uh, that Rona. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Come on. What happened? Theory turned into practice. Oh. Are we just saying that she's no longer infected? I'm confused. I'm confused on what that was about. Okay. All right. And here's the heat wave. Oh. oh. <clears throat> okay. Yes, Ethan. I agree. We have suffered enough. So hopefully this doesn't last for too long. Either that or they can really get that... Uh, I mean, we do have uh, some in storage, but I really would like us to 
finish off that well so we are not we are not in such dire straits. I think we're going to be okay. I don't know how long the heat wave lasts for, but I think we're good. Whoa. I keep doing that and I don't I don't like it if you zoom too far out. Um it hurts you. Okay, so that has to Oh, this is true because we do have people living in the shanty towns too, so Zoe is injured. No. Not Zoe. That's so sad. Okay. Uh, you can come over here and get that. And then... Get some more research for us. And then you can gather up tools. I kind of wish that you could do more than one action at a time on these guys. Alright. Go back to here. It looks so nice out on the world view. And then you... It's like, ah, this is so nice. Look at it all. Oh, I'm burning off! Okay. Wait, why is the well a low priority? No, well is highest priority. These should be low priority or paused, yes. Well is high priority. Go build well, please. We are t literally thirsting to death. Thirsting? What is the... What is the 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 water equivalent of of starving? We are dehydrating to death. I like thirsting. My colonies, my colonists are thirsty. They're thirsty, thirsty boys. Okay. I'm just kind of like just spinning around the colony, waiting for stuff to happen, just waiting for this to be over. Hey, nope. Okay, no, I thought that it was done. Nope. Uh, I, I love how it tells me now that there's a water shortage. It's like, yeah, thanks. It's been going on for half a day. We have quite a bit of research now, actually. 505. And apparently we have currency. Um, which I don't know if that was a thing before. I don't remember. Okay, so we have... Can We can go with the solar route or the wind route. I'm not sure which one is better. Well, wind generates more. Hmm. Wind generates more, but I'm sure there is a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure that there is a cost to it. Or there is a... I should say that there is a drawback to it. Oh, I guess sawmills would be the... Huh. Huh. Proper time of guarantee to stay supply of that sweet, sweet timber. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I, I guess uh, sawmills would be the upgraded... Uh, um, the upgraded... Or what we could do to upgrade our wood supply, which we definitely need. So I guess we go with windmills. I guess let's research windmills. We don't... Oh, well, we have two of those little capacitor -y things what is it are they components components we have two components i don't know if that's enough i don't know if that's enough okay so hey you finally got all that research out of there why don't you go tell me what's over here Ooh, bad guys uh it wouldn't go great it would be not great um what do they have they don't have anything it's literally just attacking it for no reason okay that's not worth it those tools, though, are worth it. Okay, and I think that's everything out of there. Yep, okay. And there's actually a bit more stuff to harvest out of that. Wow, 51 fabric. That is so much fabric. Or fiber, I should say. I should really call the resources what they what they are. <clears throat> okay, they're finally building the well. Oh, thank goodness. Yay. Let's hope that we can get through this finally doing great on metal and plastic and concrete so much so that honestly i say that we kind of forget working here at these and we kind of focus on maybe doing other things they're not um <clears throat> yeah let's move the work area over to here i know it's far away but 
if it can get us we got five carriers so if that can get us more wood quickly so we can get the rest of this stuff going i'm all for it okay hey we got a well yes we are no longer oh wow look how close we were to running out wow we were so close to that being terrible oh wow that just in time i can't tell if this is starting to wind down or not either uh okay so we depleted those berries awesome our berry supply is starting to dwindle but we almost have wind power so that'll be a great step in the right direction specialists are ready to go again why don't you well, cub why don't you tell me what's over there uh more bad guys uh a minor victory and what are they oh oh i gotta go for that 39 medical supplies oh that's amazing i need that i need that whatever it costs i need that oh is that also uh oh this is a town oh i've never seen that is that i found another town that is cool that is cool okay uh, why don't you go pick up the rest of that for me? And then I'll have you check right here. What do you see? More research. Awesome. 300 research. Fantastic. Okay. I want to get us through this. Oop, nope, that's not what I want. I want to get us through this heat wave. Um, I want to see us through it, but I don't know how long it lasts for. So... Oh no, what's going on over here? Oh no, they're being attacked. Why are they being attacked? They're being attacked by rats. Those are really some rodents of unusual size, aren't they? Fierce mouse. Oh no, that's terrible. I keep doing that, that's also terrible. Okay, wandering merchant, a lone van rattles towards the gate. Suspension creaking under the heavy load. Greetings and salutations, my good people, shouts the driver. Can I interest you fine gents and ladies with a bit of bartering on this loveliest of days? Okay, so we can... Oh, he'll give us seven. I don't feel like we need that. Yeah, seven, seven, uh, yeah. I would rather have the components right now because I'm hoping that they're going to... I'm hoping that two components is enough to build... It's uh, it's not enough. I need more components. And with 39 medical supplies coming in soon, I think we're going to be okay. I think we turn him away. Some other time then, fellow gents and ladies. Don't be a stranger. The merchant stuffs his samples back into the van and climbs onto the driver's seat, rattling into the distance. Well, that's okay. I think we're okay. I mean, we're not okay, but I think we're going to be okay i think it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay right guys i guess we can resume building these now we'll resume those and i wish this blasted heat wave would come to an end this really is kind of just going on for quite a while I'm really surprised um oh can we research more stuff? I think we can. I think we can. Energy storage. But do we want to go back and now get the hazmat engineering so we can clear away that stuff? It's going to take 12 energy to do that, though. Ugh. It's going to take 12 energy. Or do we start going for stuff like garages? Ugh. Okay, so if that's to find a car, we gotta find a car on the world map. I think maybe we go with storing energy and then, I don't know. You know what, no, let's go with, actually, that's actually a really good one. Reclaimable materials. Yeah, that's actually really great. That just gives us extra stuff from what we're doing. We should research that. Okay, we're gonna do that. Hey, and it looks like we're out of the heat wave. And I feel like that is a perfect point to end this video. So, 
I want to say thank you to everyone that has tuned in and watched uh, the Colony of Valentine make it through its first natural disaster. I'm sure that there will be many more to come. But as always, thank you for everybody for watching. Wait, that's not how you do that. Let me try that again. <clears throat> Once again, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in the next video.